He's a Richmond star. He's also in somewhere uh, remote in Western Australia. Can you tell us where you are and what are you actually doing in your isolation, Liam? Welcome to the show. How you going, boys? Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, I'm about oh, 350 k's south southeast of Perth in the middle of WA. Uh, town, oh, 50 k's north of Lake Grace. It's called Pingaring out in the farm. Lake Grace, Nat Fife territory for memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So about 50 k's north of where Nat's from. Just a close neighbour, Jono. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> so, so tell us, Liam Dermot Burton here. Are you, uh, what's the farm involved for you now that you've got back there? What do you, well, you'd have to obviously have to keep your fitness up. I'd imagine you're running around the paddocks and whatever. But what else are you doing? What's the farm got you doing? Uh, so uh, in the next month or so, we're getting uh, ready for seeding and uh, lambing coming around as well that time so we've just been you know doing sheep work and stuff keeping sheep alive because it's pretty dry out here dry out here and then getting ready for seeding so uh you know a bit of maintenance on tractors and stuff like that and then the bar and the cedar itself so yeah that's about it really i, I can see you the, the ramps in the background there you're obviously in the sheep yards or the cattle yards and there's probably a lot of dags or dung on the ground there's a million and one <laughs> flies there mate you're shooing away oh, yes yeah and i'm trying to put up with them but no yeah we, we're at the you know there's a workshop there and then the yards are out the back but yeah we're just working on the the bar just here so this is where i am at the moment take us into the barn and show us some of the equipment there no one's doing any musing or anything <laughs> at the moment are they? No, no, nothing like that mate well I take hope... us in there can you yeah so i hope we don't drop out here but yeah this is me little gym that i've set up so well, you talk... the oh, what, what's so, hang on. Is that a squat rack on the back of a forklift? <laughs> yeah, so I've got, to, you know, sort of a bit of make it up yourself here, but I've got the forklift and I needed to figure out how to, how to get the squat, squat rack going as well as the bench. So I've got the little bench down there and then I was also doing chins off that too, so it's working a treat. But, yeah, I've got that, a few dumbbells. Liam, is that so you can adjust the height? Is that why you've got it on the back there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, mate, that is brilliant. Oh, oh, what it's actually thought? quicker than quicker at, than at the club, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. goes, but, no, What's it's been that? working a treat. Necessity is the mother of all invention. You know what? You have got a marketing idea here. You, well, we just need to get electrified uh, weight racks into gyms. Every farm in the country, Derm. <laughs> Absolutely. You're onto something here. Yeah, I know. It's actually, like I said, it's better than the club, you know. It's less heavy lifting and I don't have to take any weights off or anything like that. I just, yeah, turn her on and up she goes. What sort of program you've been set, Liam? Is it is it more just, like, making it up as you can around around the farm? Or have you got a set structure in terms of your running and, and, and type of weights that you, you need to try and get out in the lead-up to what could be, you know, a, a comeback very soon? Yeah, mine's, mine's very similar to the off-season, just trying to keep, you know, that power and, and, you know, a speed work going that we do in season. So our weights coach and, um, you know, S&C guys are real good at uh, that. So whatever bloke had uh, weights wise, they just planned each program off that. So I just sent a photo of what I had there and then they just made a program off that. But running wise is pretty much the same as the off season as well. Bakes, bugger all that football stuff. You play with <laughs> Richmond, you're going to win anyway, so you're, on, you're always in good, Nick. Take us around the farm, mate. Get into the biggest oh. tractor you've got and kick it in the guts and take us out in the field somewhere, will you? What's the biggest piece of machinery you got there? Uh, oh, it's probably the header that was just through there under the shed, but the tractor, we, the biggest tractor we got going is just here, but one of the workers is under it at the moment, so I can't tick it over. But Oh, no, it'd be funny if you did. No, <laughs> please don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> so the header, tell us what the header does and how it operates. OK, you're a salesman for, a, what is it, a quarter of a million dollar piece of equipment, a header here. Tell us what it does and how it operates. Oh, well... I couldn't tell you the actual logistics of it, but uh, <laughs> I'll try it. It's pretty much just you know, when the crops are, you know, grown and good to go in, you know, summertime, then the machine over there comes through and takes all the heads off and you can see the little yellow thing in there, or big yellow thing in there. Yeah. Um, yeah, it takes the heads off and, you know, puts it in the grain and take it to the bin to sell pretty much. And what was that machine outside there, that big long machine? Is that like a, making harrows or something, is it? This thing, that there. Yeah, that thing. What's that? That's, uh, that's the cedar. So, like I said, we're in the next month, that's going to get going and we're going to start seeding 
you know, in preparation well, to get it going. So in summer, we can chop it all off with that in there. And you drive that thing? Uh, I won't be driving that thing this time. Nah, our work is on that at the moment. Right. But, yeah, right. we all sort of take turns in it. Hey, Liam, any word from the from the club? Are they giving you, giving you any indication on when you might have to start thinking about coming back to, to Melbourne? Uh, yeah, I think we're uh, preparing as to get up and going on, was the 4th of May, I think? So that's what our program's set to. And until things change, that's what I've got in mind as well. So I'm preparing to be, you know, back up and going by then. And if something changes, then it changes and we'll have to adapt. But uh, we're pretty good at adapting at the Tigers. So hopefully, you know, whatever comes, we can handle it and keep on going. Yeah, you're really good at everything at the Tigers. It's boring. <laughs> um, I'm really sorry about Bradley keeping asking, keep on oh, asking you Yeah, Because Dermy thinks he knows everything well, about I don't. Farming. I want to learn. Don't look at me. What I'm is on. what is the best thing about coming back to the farm for you? What do you enjoy the most? Is it shooting pigs or um, riding tractors <laughs> or what? Yeah, shooting's pretty fun, but I don't know. Just generally getting up in the morning, it's, it's cruisy, you know, cruisy life, getting up. I don't know, helping Dad's good. I like doing a bit of sheep work. Bit of something different every day, pretty much. But um, just because, mainly because I'm not here and anymore is the best thing about getting back, you know. It reminds me of being a kid again and, you know, just helping Dad. And, and Ben McAvoy's our clubhouse leader for all league footballers on acreage. He's got a few hundred, I think. How much are you and Dad on there? Well, me, I've got none, so <laughs> uh, Dad, uh, Dad's got about uh, 10,000 acres. So nice. The, um, nice. Uh, well crops done. about six 6,000 worth of that and then, yeah, run sheep on the rest. Talk All about right. an isolation hub. Imagine if we could just build a couple of ovals there. <laughs> if there's one place in Australia where coronavirus is unlikely to get to, it's out where it's Liam Hunk is from. It's too hot. Yeah. Uh, Liam, yeah. we really appreciate you having a chat to us. Uh, we love your farming and we love your footy, so uh, fair to say you're a friend of Fox Footy. Oh, yeah. Thanks for that, boys. Thanks for having me.